the rules that everybody was talking about. You have the Pelosi rules, the previous Pelosi rules. And as I've said before, we had McCarthy on a couple of months ago to talk about this. And one of the things that he had brought or that I had brought up with him was, you know, for instance, are you what are you going to do about the uh, time that's given to lawmakers to actually read and process legislation before taking a vote on it? Because under Pelosi, they didn't really have a lot of time. So a lot of the rule changes were changing these Pelosi rules and actually creating something and there were everybody was pretty much on board with it uh, I think that you had the 72 hour thing there was a whole bunch of other uh, negotiate a whole bunch of other rules changes and that was just changing over from the Pelosi way of doing things and the I guess what one of the concession rules they said they wanted to allow any member to offer a privilege resolution declaring the office or office of speaker vacant meaning that a member of the House can call a vote to remove McCarthy from his position. That was, I think, one of the new ones. The current pay-as-you-go requirements, that was always going to happen because that was a Pelosi, it was a change from Pelosi's status quo. So I don't know why that's being presented as a get because that was something that every Republican had been on board with. To authorize, to suspend the entry of aliens, this was not... This was not a new thing. Again, this was a change from Pelosi. They, uh, they, there's a lot of the stuff that uh, one of them was, you know, the 72-hour rule, et cetera, et cetera. Now, you also, I'm looking at, um, you know, Tony Gonzalez, who's a Republican, who came on and he was blasting. He went on, I think it was uh, MSNBC over the weekend, and he had been blasting Republicans on some things because he was saying that well you know if any of these new people if uh, he had said that he was asked about other vo uh, Republicans voting against uh, I'm pulling this 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 up because it was on MSNBC's face the nation it was the rules package and Gonzalez says well if this insurgency caucus decides to put anti-immigration legislation on the floor and masquerade it as border security that's not going to fly that was his quote on face the nation Okay, well, that first off, that language doesn't help, number one. Number two, who in the hell did that? Number three, he's the only per Republican in the House who didn't sign on to Chip Roy's immigration package. Oh, and the other thing is that he had actually been challenged. Uh, who was it? Raul Reyes, who was a legitimate, really good uh, conservative candidate who was challenging him. And this was another bad, I think this was another bad uh, endorsement from Trump because Trump got in and backed Gonzalez and Gonzalez wasn't winning until that happened. Uh, Raul Reyes was going to win and then Tony Gonzalez got a Trump endorsement and it allowed Tony Gonzalez to win by 45 votes. And now to hear Gonzalez talk about immigration, he acts like he's, you know, defending the damn cartels. Kind of interesting, isn't it? So yeah, I don't want to hear him use that kind of language. You you didn't you you didn't win your race by enough to act like that much of a hard ass. I got to be honest. So, I and I think that and that language is so ridiculous. So a lot of the rules that and you know we're I know they're moving on. I think McCarthy said uh, one of the first things that they're going to do is repeal the funding. Audio send by one real quick is repeal the funding for these IRS agents. Listen. So McCarthy know, says... The night, is, the night is late, but when we come back, our very first bill will repeal the funding for 87,000 new IRS. That's good. That's good. And they can. And they, they, they absolutely can. And, so, and they will. I would imagine that they will. Now, this, some of these other rules changes, like I said, I really, and I know that people, so apparently, what is it, the Armed Services Committee, Matt Gates was requesting a gavel for the committee. He was asking for a gavel for that committee. So remember what I told you, there are instances where there were not, there were some of the people who were objecting who were not the ones who were demanding positions on certain committees, and there were absolutely, I have heard from the mouths of more, of more members than I can count on both hands, 
that there were some who were demanding positions and they wanted to be feted. Just saying. So both were true. They were both absolutely true. And some of them were people who were objecting. Which, you know, is kind of disappointing to hear. But the whole thing with this is the rules that if you're going to go hard to win change for something, then make sure that it's actual change. Because aside from like two things that involve specifically McCarthy, these were rules, all of them, that were being changed over from Pelosi anyway. So every time you have a new speaker, the rule you ha- you the rules change. They change different rules on different... And, and that was one of the things that, I mean, uh, th- all of these things were being changed over from Pelosi's speaker tenure. So this, I don't know why all of this is being promoted as such a big get, because it's not. And I'm not trying to, I'm not downplaying the importance of anything. I kind of, I, like I said, you've got to be very careful. There are no 100% good angels in this industry. And it is an industry. It's politics. Every single person, even the best ones, always have an angle. Every one of them do. I've done this since I was in my late 20s. I have seen way too much. It's one of the reasons why I hate going to D.C. I just like to stay in Dallas at this point because I have seen too much. And I know how these people operate. There are no 100% good angels in this. And everybody's got an angle. So... Just so you know, it's being presented as something that it really is not. But it is what it is at this point. I do think all of our time was wasted. And I say it was wasted because if you're going to fight for a rule change, make it more significant than not having a McCarthy pack in a safe race. Don't claim that automatic rule changes, which are coming anyway, simply because of a changeover in power. Don't claim that those are new concessions when they, I actually had people on the show months ago talking about them. I'm just saying. And by the way, all of that's available on this thing called the internet. So you can go and check those receipts if you'd like to.